coming up next, a UFC lightweight division bout. So as this confident young fighter makes his walk to the octagon, you can be sure his inner monologue is, how do I get this opponent to the mat? Because once I get him down, I know I can keep him there, potentially for the duration of the round, if not the fight. This guy's top game is scary good, and it's not just about getting you down, it's about using his weight to keep you there. Great hips as well. This guy has some of the best throws I have ever seen in all my years of commentating. His timing, his delivery, and the power in which he delivers these techniques is beautiful to watch. that this particular fighter is on the wrong end of the power equation, I'll give you that. But few guys can match his speed and his footwork. Prevailing wisdom is he'll try to fight on the outside tonight, stick and move a little bit, exceptionally quick on his feet, sets up angles beautifully, manages distance as good as anybody on the roster, he knows how to set up his attacks, knows how to stay in his opponent's range, figures to be a big part of the strategy tonight, given the power that's coming back. This guy has some of the best takedown defense we've ever seen inside the octagon. His timing and his utilization of underhooks and sprawl are world class. And now our tail of the tape for this lightweight scrap. Well, how about the age discrepancy here? More than 15 years apart, some differences in height and reach. All right, now for the official introductions, we go inside the octagon to Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC lightweight division. Introducing first, fighting at the blue corner. This man is a Muay Thai kickboxer and jiu-jitsu fighter, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 11 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, the great! And now introducing his opponent, fighting at the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 5 feet 6 inches tall, weighing in at 146 pounds. Fighting out of Manila, Philippines, the Destroyer! And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, third man in the go, octagon on, for this ready? one. Opens with the left hand and lands flush. Oh! And he connects with the punch there. I mean, the hand speed, just absurd. Oh, well-placed leg kick. Well tied, oh. too. Oh! Oh! Big knee! He's hurt! He's stumbling! Ooh, yeah, these are what you say about my mother there, punches. Joe. What a jab! Try some serious power in that kick, but misses. Big punches. Oh! How about that chin? There's a nice kick. Well, Joe, I know he respects the power coming back, but it looked like he moved right into that kick to the body and his opponent landed it flush. So let's see if he changes up his footwork a little bit and try it again. Trying to establish that jab once again. Caught him with a punch. And now he lands a combination. Oh, massive kick. Oh, he got that one. Oh. He's, He's in big trouble. Oh, this fight is dangerously close to being stopped. And now start to snap off that jab. Back and forth we go. Oh, nasty combination. He didn't miss with that uppercut. Really threw a lot of power into that uppercut, but missed. That punch will work right through the door. Oh, snaps off the jab effectively yet again. Good defense there. Oh, and he connects there. Well, 
Well, no issue finding his timing here. Nice series of strikes as he continues to land. He's got good accuracy on that jab. Able to work it in with the takedown. Posture's up. Good shot to the body. He's moved to full guard. He's up to his feet, and he's up. Oh. Kick to the head lands, he's stunned. He's got him hurt here. Oh, he might be out. Oh! Big shots! Nice jab. Double underhooks in the clinch. Missed the mark. Punches block. Tagged him. Yeah, he's got a nice snap to that leg kick. Very nice. Oh, another one! Oh, very nice. Oh, he's stunned again! Horn sounds for the end of round one. Oh, saved by the bell. The round is over. He got stunned by a massive shot just before the end of the round. So now he goes back to the stool, wobbly a little bit. We'll see if the corner can maximize these 60 seconds and keep his head in the fight. Here's a powerful punch that devastates. Let's take a look at it from a different angle. Brittany Palmer is here as well. Round two here. That last round was an all-out brawl. Wow! This could be it. Nice leg kick. Oh, he might be out. Haymaker. Vicious combination. Wow! Oh, that's it. Wow! Wow! Big roundhouse kick KO for the victory. Well, that was a no-doubter, Joe, and he's made a career of knocking guys out with kicks, but that one right there might have just been the best yet. Caught the opponent flush, full force, outstanding extension with the leg, and really, once he connected with the target, you knew the end of the fight was coming, and immediately his opponent goes to the canvas. A major, major result here in this division tonight. And here we see it one more time. Look at the timing in this shot. Boom! And that's all she wrote. So a seminal moment for him here tonight as he gets the huge knockout victory. That could hold up as one of the better knockouts of the year. Now we go inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Mario Yamasaki is called to stop to this contest at 32 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout victory. So there's the man of the moment. Just the way he drew it up here tonight as he gets his hand raised and does so emphatically by way of the KO. Perhaps some bonus money is coming his way at the end of the night, I'm not sure. Still a few fights to go, but at the very least, you can be sure his next fight will be a big one, and he will celebrate deep into the night with his teammates, his coaches, and his friends after this monumental victory here under the bright lights tonight.